a journey and you're moving from one location to another location, you need sat-nav. Sat-nav always takes people from where they are and shows people how to get to a place where they are wanting to get to. Sat-nav can be compared to a business plan. Sat-nav for a motorist can be compared to a business plan for a business person who is looking to start a business. And the business plan will just be like a start nav to the person, showing that person how to start and how to get to where you are going, how to reach your goal. Welcome to chaiexplodacademy.com, a place where people come to learn business and be inspired. What is a business plan? A business plan is a written document. Writing a business plan entails you writing in detail the objectives of your business and the strategies you plan to undertake to achieve them. A business plan is the hard copy of your business preparation. A business plan allows your business to be planned in a structured way. A business plan is your personal map that helps you and your partners see what you're planning to achieve, how it will run and succeed. It is something that you show to people who will be interested to fund you or to help you to grow. It is a thoroughly written business preparation. And if a business plan is thoroughly written well, it will help a business person to succeed. If it is not written properly, it might just lead that business might not might just lead to failure. So this is what a business plan is. It is a written document. Your business plan must be written in sections. And these sections must be written clearly so anyone who picks your business plan up will be able to read and understand. The sections of a business plan will be discussed in part two, in the part two of the video. The sections of a business plan are executive summary, your business background, the proposal, what product or service you wanting to sell, your forecast, your finance and forecast, your team, your market breakdown, the section you are in that market, the legal section, the marketing strategy section, your supporting evidence, your operations, how you're going to operate, your management, and the risk analysis of the business you're wanting to start. For you to know what to write and what information to include in your business plan, you must know your target audience. Who are you writing for? It is when you identify who you are writing for that you will be able to know what to include. The right information to include for each target audience. The different target audiences we have for a business plan are angel investors, managing directors, 
commercial banks, management, venture capitalists, potential business partners, prospective key customers, critical suppliers, strategic allies, and all your buyers. An angel investor can also be called seed investor or business angel. And they are individuals who provide funds for a business startup in exchange for ownership equity. They always contribute their skills, their time, their expertise, their knowledge and contact in the businesses they invest in. They always look for a significant return on their investment within five to seven years. And the advantage of using an angel investor is that they are prepared to take bigger risk than the banks. And with an angel investor, there is no obligation to pay back the investment if the business does not succeed. The common types of investors that we have generally comes from a family background or an entrepreneurial background. When you go to an angel investor, you are given away a degree of control in the business, in your business. So they give you money and they have a say in how the company is run, giving you their expertise and their contacts. Another target audience of a business plan is managing directors. So you're writing a business plan to help yourself because you are the managing director. When you write this business plan properly and clearly, it will help you to focus on your vision, your mission. It will help you to determine problem areas. Like I used the SATNAV as an example when we started this video. The business plan will highlight where you can improve and you will be more confident going forward when you write a clear and good business plan. So it will help you in your journey to achieve what you have set out to do. Another target audience of a business plan are commercial banks. That is if you're looking to take a loan a business loan from a bank. They will be interested in the financial side of your business plan. So you have to pay a lot of attention to your financial section. You have to provide detailed cash flow statements and provide balance sheets, keeping your cash forecast realistic. You could ask an accountant to help you or you can just do this by yourself but make sure it is done thoroughly. As your company becomes bigger and you employ managers to help you run your company, you have to share your business plan with them. This business plan will help them to see and get familiarized 
with your core objectives. They will be interested in the vision of the company and the mission statements of that business. They will use it to monitor the performance of the company in the specific market that you are. They will use the business plan to analyze economic factors and the current industry conditions in the sector that that business is. So your management is a target audience to your business plan. A venture capitalist is an individual or a company which invests in small companies or startups using pooled money from investment companies, money from large corporations, or pension funds. Venture capitalists do not use their own money to invest in startup companies. This is the major difference between an angel investor and a venture capitalist because an angel investor uses their own money to support a business startup. Venture capitalists look for serious growth and return. When you give a business plan to them, they want to see how that company is going to grow and what kind of return they are going to be getting back. So you will need to prove to them that your company will expand. They always look for exit strategy. So when you're writing your business plan, it must have an exit strategy. And their own exit strategy, they always look to, look for, to fund in a business plan is either acquisition, they want to acquire the company, or half of the company or part of the company, or they want to buy shares from you, as in it has to be in the form of selling shares to them or acquisition. Another target audience for, biz, for a business plan is potential business partners. If you want partners, business partners to join your business, then you must look at the ownership, how to share the ownership. You must look at dividing the responsibilities. Who does what? You must look at the over, who is going to have a more overall control of that business. When you are bringing in business partners, you must structure the business properly so that there won't be problems in the future. And that has to be written in the business plan. Another target audience that you could have for your business plan is the prospective, your prospective key customers. This has to be with a key customer that wants to form a long-term relationship, business relationship with you. And these kind of customers are going to be making big commitments to partner with you or in a business to business situation. This kind of target audience will want to see in your business plan your relationship with other customers, their own competitors, they want to see if you're going to be giving them a preferential treatment. 
They want to see your other suppliers who supply what they supply to you. So when, you, when you're writing a business plan for some of your big customers who are going to be making big commitments with you, business to business, you have to bear this in mind and you have to write in detail about your other customers and your other suppliers and how you are going to give them preferential treatment and what they can um, hope to get from you above the other people or other customers. Your major suppliers are another target audience that you might want to write a business plan for. And these major suppliers are the ones that will supply you with goods or services and will give you credit terms to pay after 30 days. So these people will want to know if you can pay your bills. They will want to know if you will be ordering from them more and more over time. They will want to be able to see from your business plan your current financial situation and they want to see that you are a company that will grow over time. So when you're writing a business plan for this set or this target audience, you have to show growth potential and you have to be able to order from them in large quantities for a long time and show them that you can pay your bills. And that will be written in your financial sector so you, section. So you have to look at that financial section and write it properly. The last target audience I would like to talk about that might be interested in your business plan are potential future buyers for when you want to sell your successful company in future. You have to demonstrate to them that your business is a good match for them. So when you are writing your business plan, you have to demonstrate this to them. Also remember to put in your business plan that this business is systemized and can run smoothly without you. If you show to them that the business can run and can succeed without you, then they might want to buy. But if they see that the business cannot succeed without you being there, then they might not want to buy. So when you're writing your business plan for this target audience, think about these things. Your business plan is important because it will show to anyone who picks it up your business idea, the location you want to use, the goals of the business, the way you want to, you are looking to achieve the goals. It will help you to identify potential issues potential opportunities. It will help you to determine the viability of the business. It will show you a clear roadmap to build your business. It will help you to secure funding and it will help you to show to potential investors and all the other audience, the people who might need this business plan that your business is viable. So in summary, in this video, I've looked at what a business plan is, the target audience of a business plan, and the importance of a business plan.
in the next video i'm going to be looking at the sections of a business plan and also providing a business plan template thank you subscribe and hit the bell so you get notified when we release new content thank you